DG Hui claims it'll be easy to beat Team BDS and make it to Worlds 2023. Golden Guardians have one more big hurdle ahead of them to make it to Worlds 2023, and Hui me, believes the team like is more than up to the task. He revealed his biggest struggles and greatest triumphs through the year, the bittersweet feeling of watching 100 Thieves fail without him, and their matchup against BDS in the Worlds qualifying series. Saying that Golden Guardians have had one hell of a year would be an understatement. Before 2023, they had no international experience as an organization. Now, they've got some experience from MSI under their belts and a very real shot at making it to Worlds 2023. The once mediocre LCS org has had a major turnaround that few low tier organizations can maintain after such a long history of middling performances and the scathing label of a team that sticks. 2. Development rosters. And, even on a team that's had a historic LCS run in 2023, Choi Hui Jae Hyun stands out as one of the strongest members and a player who defines the team's play style. Dexer to sat with him ahead of Golden Guardian's crucial match against Team BDS to get his thoughts before the series and ask him about the moments that have defined 2023 for him. Hui's massive career resurgence with Golden Guardians. Hui's been playing League of Legends competitively for a long, long time. From making it to NA's deepest international run ever at MSI 2016 as CLG's mid laner to being relegated to 100 Thieves Academy team, his climb hasn't been a steady one. But the role swap to support brought new life to his career. He's been one of the best supports in the region over the past few years, one whose roller coaster of a career has given him a wealth of experience. However, this is the first year that his prowess as a player has been universally recognized in a way that puts him on top of the region. Hui has been looked at as one of Golden Guardian's strongest players, something clearly shown when he won the support all-pro vote by a pretty wide margin. Hui himself was surprised by how much that win meant to him after years of competing. It definitely felt pretty weird. I've been playing for a while now, but I was always, like, here and there on all-pro teams. But I was never really voted the first all-pro, and this split was my first time getting it. I guess I thought I would care less about it. It still made me really happy, and it just keeps me going, you know? I'm glad that I'm still playing professionally, and it gives me motivation to keep going forward. However, the unexpected elation at his newfound accolade was paired with the great sadness of getting knocked out of the LCS summer playoffs earlier than he expected. Golden Guardians almost managed a reverse sweep win against Team Liquid, but they ultimately failed and lost the set 3-2. This loss hit Hui hard. I knew I was going to be somewhat sad, but like, I didn't know I was going to be that sad. So, it made me think again that I really don't want to lose again. So yeah, I think, going into the BDS match, that's my main goal. I don't want to feel that feeling again, I don't want my year to be over yet. So, I want to keep pulling forward by beating BDS. Who I thinks taking down team BDS won't be a challenge. Hui is a generally soft-spoken player who doesn't trash talk his competition too often. His tendency to respect his opponent and not think of any victory as guaranteed has served him well in the past, which makes it all the more surprising that he thinks they'll have an easy time taking down Team BDS. The thing I'm most scared of is, like, their level 1 is kind of different. Adam plays a lot of special picks, but I'm not too worried because I think Licorice is really on form and he's playing really well this year. So yeah, other than that, I think River will just destroy the whole map. So, I'm just going to make sure he can do his job. The World Championship represents the pinnacle of League of Legends esports. Every year, the best teams from across the globe lock horns for the title of World Champion and the Summoner's Cup, one of the most recognizable and prestigious trophies in the industry. Worlds 2023 marks the return of the showpiece competition to South Korea, which hosted the latter stages of the 2014 edition and the 2018 event in its entirety. It also sees the tournament once again confined to one host nation after the 2022 competition took place in Mexico and in the United States. Worlds 2023, Teams and Rosters Before Worlds 2023 begins, there will be a qualifying match called the Worlds Qualifying Series, WQS, featuring the fourth seed from the LCS and the LEC. The winner of this cross-region match will earn the final spot in the play-in stage. Judge earned their world's spot first and then secured the spot for BLG alongside them with a win over LNG. Missing, Judge's support, 
held up a sign saying that they'd secure BLG's spot. And, after an incredibly tense best of five win against LNG, they fulfilled that promise. Meanwhile, Cloud9 qualified after trouncing evil geniuses in decisive 3 0 fashion. It wasn't close, and they're looking like the strongest team in North America yet again. NRG refused to be left behind and beat GG in decisive 3 1 fashion to secure a world's spot of their own, while LNG qualified by besting EDG in the regional qualifier. As for the LCK, General G and T1 set themselves apart as the best teams in the LCK. T1 had a serious comeback after their slump, but not a big enough comeback to keep them from getting dominated by General G in the finals.